Now for this little effect, um, I'm going to need a couple of things. I'm going to need uh, a piece of rope, which I've got here. This is uh, just, a, just a regular piece of rope. You can hand it out to be examined if you wish. It is exactly what you say it is. And um, as well as the piece of rope, you also need to borrow a wristwatch. And uh, so you need to spot a spectator who's wearing one. And if they've got um, uh, one with a leather strap that you do up, then they need to do it up once they've taken it off to make a loop of watch strap. And uh, if it's a bracelet one, obviously, you wouldn't need to do that. And you explain that the way that you keep this safe is like this. You take your piece of rope and you tie the two ends together, like this, just to make it into a, a loop. And then taking the watch, you actually thread the watch over both strands of the loop of rope. And in fact, uh, it's very safe because, as you can see, you can make it uh, drop or you can uh, make it stop exactly as you want. Obviously, if I take my hand away, it'll just fall off the end and then smash into a thousand pieces on the floor, which is not the idea that you want at all. But all the time that you just leave it on the rope like this, then it's completely safe and you don't have to worry about it. Of course, another way to make this safe would be to do this. Because then instantly, the watch penetrates onto the loop of rope. And in fact, the only way to get that watch now back off the loop again is to untie the rope, slide it right at the end in order to hand it back. 